photography is a way of capturing aesthetic scenes and moods. In order to capture those things, photographers apply different techniques to enhance the quality of their photos. One of the famous techniques used is the rule of thirds, where the subject of the image must be placed along the grid lines or the intersection of the two lines. For hundreds of years, the rule of thirds has been universally accepted guidelines for taking but recently, many have chosen the golden ratio. What is the golden ratio, and how does it apply in photography? The golden spiral is the basis for the golden ratio rule of photography. You want the focal object to line up at the intersection of those two red lines. We have here a photo and let us overlay the golden spiral with the photo here. We need to make this photo applicable with a golden ratio. As you can see, this is the point of interest and this is the spiral. So I am going to adjust it so that the camera lens would be the highlighted object. You can also readjust the image from left to right or right to left. We have here a photo that clearly applies the golden ratio in photography. As you can see, the photo becomes more appealing to the eye of the viewers because the golden ratio is applied. Our attentions are attracted directly to the lens of the camera, which is the focus of the image. Much like pi, the golden ratio is an irrational number that roughly approximates the numbers 1.618 or phi. This value can be obtained by dividing the preceding two numbers in the Fibonacci sequence. The farther you go in the Fibonacci sequence, the closer you get to the value of the golden ratio. Between the rule of thirds and the golden ratio, many people claim that the golden ratio is actually a better choice because it produces more balanced images, especially if it comes to landscape photography. So, to sum it all up, in photography, The golden ratio is a point where the eyes get attracted the most.